Special thanks to Patreon supporter Yeg Tiger for making this tutorial possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare Tofu here bringing you another Minecraft over to vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Hankel HE-177 Grief. The HE-177 Grief, which translates from German to English in Griffin, was a long-range heavy bomber flown by the Luftwaffe during World War II. The introduction of the HE-177 to combat operations was significantly delayed by both problems with the development of its engines and frequent changes to its intended role. Nevertheless, it was the only long-range heavy bomber to become operational with the Luftwaffe during the war. The HE-177 had a payload slash range capability similar to that of the four-engine heavy bombers used by the Allies in the European theater. Work on the design began in response to a 1936 requirement known as Bomber A, issued by the RLM for a purely strategic bomber. Thus, the HE-177 was intended originally to be capable of sustained bombing campaign against Soviet manufacturing capacity deep inside Russia. In contrast to its heavy payload and very wide 30 mm or sorry, 30 meters or 98 foot platform, the specifications called for the design to have only two very powerful engines. To develop, to develop the power required, the HE-177 needed engines of at least 2,000 horsepower. Engines of this type were new and unproven at the time. The Daimler-Benz DB606 power system that was selected in conjunction with its relatively cramped nacelles caused cooling and maintenance problems shows that the power plants became infamous for catching fire in flight, and contributing to the HE-177 gained nicknames from the Luftwaffe aircrew such as Reichsflugzeug, which translates to Reich's lighter. The type manufactured uh, or matured into a usable design too late in the war to play an important role. It was built and used in some numbers, especially on the Eastern Front, where its range was particularly useful. It is notable for its use in mass raids on the uh, Vekle Luke in 1944, one of the late war heavy bomb bombing er efforts by the Luftwaffe. It saw considerably less use on the Western Front, although it played a role during Operation Steinbach against the UK in 1944. So, yeah, the HE 177 here, a pretty cool looking bomber, um, kind of uh, has a little bit of a resemblance to that of a B 29. Maybe the United States got a little inspiration from this aircraft. Uh, to create the B-29, but it's a really uh, interesting aircraft, has a really nice sleek look to it, and was, um, you know, one of those aircraft that, again, from German, uh, you know, building, uh, just suffered from uh, over-engineering and just, uh, really just the technology not being there for them to really create these designs that they wanted to do. Um, it's still a really cool bomber, and I'm happy to go ahead and build a tutorial for it. This is our second German uh I guess you can say strategic or heavy bomber. So I'm really happy to um, get another one out there along with our um, HE-11 or 111. Um, but before we go and take a look at the build, I do want to go and give special links to Patreon supporter uh, J Yeg Tiger for making this tutorial possible. If you guys are interested in making or supporting the channel more than you already do, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link is always in my video description where you can go and play this small to the channel every month. And in doing so, earn a view core request you're choosing. It really helps support the work I do on my channel. It's really greatly appreciated, so definitely feel free to check that out. Again, link is always down in my video description for that stuff. With that, though, let's go ahead and dive in here to uh, take a look at um, the HE-177. So, uh, basically, starting off with, we have the front cockpit here. Um, again, kind of very reminiscent of that of the, um, of the B-29. We also have, uh, basically, the front gunner, and we also have these little... Um, Kind of uh, instruments on the side. I think it has something to do with maybe some radar. Uh, some it basically looks very similar design to that, like the night fighters at the time. So some sort of radar or some some kind of system there on the front to um, help in navigation or detection. We then have a little pot on the bottom here, which has houses two more guns. You have a forward gun and a rear facing gun there. So uh, kind of a nice little defensive position. Some pretty good armaments and defensive uh, capabilities for this aircraft for sure. Uh, this t color tone is also a gray kind of undercoat and then a um, white kind of top or kind of a whitish gray um, mix kind of a uh, color on top. Looks really good and kind of more of a winter type theme, which again goes really well with the aircraft's uh, theater mostly being in the Soviet um, Union and Soviet campaigns. Um, we have the engines here for the aircraft. So again, nothing too fancy, but pretty big engines. Um, again, there's only... Uh, two of these, so 
Um, pretty seems pretty underpowered for how big of an aircraft. An absolute massive wingspan. As you can see, this uh, wingspan is huge uh, for the size of aircraft. It's a very large wingspan. We also have two turrets up here. One is a remote control turret from what it looks like, and then they also the other one is an actual ball turret, um, or actually, uh, you know, manually manned by someone. So uh, cool design there for it. Of course, we have the cross on the side of the aircraft as well. We have our horizontal and vertical stabilizer on the back, as well as a tail gunner position. So this thing is definitely the equivalent of a uh, American uh, flying fortress. It's got a lot of armaments on it for its size and definitely uh, a really cool looking bomber. So hopefully you guys um, do enjoy this design here for the HE-177. This is again going to be only for the... Alright guys, so moving into our first layer here, we will be going ahead and start with layer 2. Now if you're completely new to my aircraft tutorials, the way I like to charge these tutorials, I like to do half on camera, half off. What this means is we're going to be building the entire centerline of the aircraft and then we're going to be building the right side. For the most part, this aircraft is symmetrical. There are a few things that are going to be a little different between the two sides, but they're very minor and we'll talk about those a little bit more in detail once we get to that point. However, uh, just know that for the most part, unless said otherwise, whatever we do on one side of the build will be done on the other. And um, in addition, again, I want to mention that this is going to be only for the in-flight version. So um, again, if you are looking for the landed version, this is not going to be the build for you. Anyways though, let's go ahead and get started with this. So uh, we will be starting with layer 2 here, which will give us a better baseline to kind of build off of. So um, just keep in note that you will need some space under this if you're building it kind of close to something on the ground that it may interfere with. Um, getting started though, we're going to place down a black uh, stained glass block here and then a dark liquid trapdoor coming off of it. We're going to go and then go back from that uh, block with a total of three gray concrete blocks, two more black stained glass, and then we're going to take our polished black stone slabs and we're going to place down a row of nine going back from that second black stained glass block. We're going to go ahead and then place down a row of uh, six of upside down pistons. If you're on a version that does not have um, the ability to use a debug stick, which is this tool here, um, so basically any version other than Java, uh, you will have to go ahead and find an alternative to the pistons. It can be anything from either just taking your top slabs and just continuing them all the way down, or you can use some uh, gray concrete. Now there is a little bit of a bulge here on the bottom of this section here, the cockpit, uh, most likely maybe like a fuel bladder or the bay doors or something for the bombs. Um, but just note that there is a little bulge here and that is what we are pretty much representing by um, putting those those things there. So it may be in your best interest, it's not that big uh, to just take polished blackstone and fill that space in. Anyways, after those six blocks, we're going to place down two more polished blackstone top slabs and then three dark oak trap doors back. With that done, going back up to the front here, we're going to place down a polished blackstone upside down stair, come off the side of this block here, and then one, two, three, gray concrete blocks back, and then a polished blackstone stair, and another uh, polished blackstone upside down stair, like that. We're going to go then take our dark oak with trap doors, and we're going to go back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine along the side, then one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, back like that. And that right there is going to basically fill in that and create that base there for the uh, fuselage. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and then go off of the polished blackstone stair. We're going to go and get two blocks forward, one, two, and then come off the second block. We're going to place down a fence gate like so, and we're going to go ahead and open the fence gate toward that block. So basically, it'll look like that there on both sides. We also want to go ahead and grab our wither skeleton skull. We're going to place it on the side here of this um, great concrete block, and then one skeleton skull coming off that going forward. So again, it'll look something that looks like that there for the front. After that's all done, we're going to go ahead and then uh, go back and we're going to go to our fourth dark oak with trap door here. So one, two, three, four. And on this fourth trap door, we're going to build out to the side one, two, three, four, five. So we have five blocks of space. We have one already, two, three, four, five. We're going to place down a dark oak with trap door. Then we're going to place down a piston. It's going to be upside down. This can either be replaced with a polished blackstone top slab or a um, gray concrete full block. After that we want to go ahead and then take our polished granite. We're going to go back one, two, three polished granite blocks. We'll need a wither skeleton skull here again on the side of the slab. And we're also going to go ahead and grab ourselves a acacia wood sign and we're going to place it on the side here of this top slab. And that's going to basically do that. And we'll just go ahead and then delete those blocks. And once we have that all complete there that is everything we have here for our first layer, layer two. So again, taking a look at it from above here, this is what we should have for the top down view with everything complete. Make sure you take what we do on the right side and copy it over to the left side. 
with that though, that's it for this layer. Let's go ahead and move on to layer number one. Moving on to layer one, we really could have combined probably layers one and two together, honestly, but layer one is super simple. I actually thought it was a little, had a little bit more going on, but it really doesn't. Basically, all we're doing here is we're going to go ahead and go to the bottom here of this gray concrete block here on the front, this little kind of um, gun position here. We're going to place down polished blocks on top, so have the one, two, three. Uh, back, so you have a total of four there on the bottom. On the sides here, we're going to place down four dark oak trap doors. And then coming off the slabs going forward, we're going to place down an end rod and then a chain. And then also on the slab going backwards, we're going to place down an end rod and a chain for your guns. And that's really it. <laughs> that's all we have. It's really simple and straightforward. And that is it for layer one. And uh, it's probably your easiest layer for this entire build. But with that, we'll be moving on to our next layer, layer number three. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number three. Layer three is going to be a little bit more uh, intense than layer one, so to speak. Uh, ready for that one. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started here. We're going to go ahead and begin with by going ahead and place down a black stained glass block on top of this trap door here and then a uh, black stained glass pane going forward from that block. So it'll look like that. We're going to go ahead and place down a black concrete block here behind this uh, this uh, black stained glass. Now you can leave some space open on the inside here if you do want to build an interior for the build. Um, for this tutorial though, we will not be covering interiors, so we are going to go ahead and just use black to kind of fill in the voids and close that area off. Anyways, after that, we're going to go and take our gray concrete, and we're just going to go ahead and place down a long row of gray concrete going all the way down the center line of the aircraft for a total of 27. It should stick two gray concrete blocks past this dark oak wood trap door from layer number two. After that, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of three of upside down pistons for Java players. If you, are, again, are not on Java, an alternative to this could be to place down a uh, gray, another gray concrete block and then two polished black stone top slabs. But again, for us, we will be going ahead and placing down um, three pistons, like so, for Java. We're going to go ahead and place down three polished blackstone top slabs and then two dark oak wood trap doors, come off those top slabs like that, and that is going to form up your center line there of the aircraft. At this point, we're going to continue to work our way out to the sides now. We're going to place down an end rod coming off the side of this glass pane, as well as a dark oak wood fence gate on top of the previous fence gate and opened toward the end rod like so. We're also going to place down a polished blackstone up downstairs here. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23. Uh, gray concrete blocks back. White concrete, black concrete, and white concrete again. And then our polished black stone, we're going to place down two upside down stairs. And then a total of three top slabs and two dark oak trap doors. And now right there is going to finish that off. Then going back up to the front, we're going to place down a gray stingless pane come off the side of the second block here. And then we're going to go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 panes back. And then we're going to place down two polished black stone ups downstairs. And we'll continue on for gray stained glass panes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 glass panes, a white stained glass pane, and then a black stained glass pane, just like that. Now, after that is all done, we're going to go ahead and take our uh, polished blackstone top slabs and we're going to go off the stairs a total of four. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now after those four are placed, we're going to go ahead and take our pistons here and again we're going to place down an upside down piston like that. An alternative to placing down the pistons will be basically your gray concrete. So instead of the pistons, I would place down gray concrete full blocks. We're going to go ahead and place down one uh, polished blackstone top slab back and then two more top slabs to the side of the pistons here. We then want to place down a row of gray concrete going forward. This is going to be one, two, three. And we'll also go ahead and grab our black concrete and place down a black concrete block here, like so. A polished black stone top slab and then a dark oak with trap door. Then we'll take our polished black stone uh, stairs here and we're going to go ahead and just run a row of upside down stairs. One, two, three, four, uh, and five all on the side there. And same thing over here, one, two, three, four, five to go ahead and start setting up our engines. Um, after we have uh, that all complete there, uh, that's pretty much our engine set up. We do have a few things also we're going to go ahead and add on. Uh, we want to go and go to the second stair here. Or, um, yeah, so we have the one, and then we have the second stair. We're place down a dark oak wood fence gate to both sides like so. We're also going to place down a wither skeleton skull coming off the ends of the fence gate. So on both sides here. And then we're going to go ahead and place down one more wither skeleton skull forward. And that's going to be on both sides there of the engine. After that's all complete, we want to go and then grab our dark oak wood trap doors. We're going to place down two trap doors here. And then on the back here, we're going to go and place down one, two, three, four. Then on the 
uh, side here, come off these two polished black stone top slabs. We're going to place down two more out to the side like that. And then two more dark ochre trapdoors coming off each of those top slabs like that. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and place down one, two, three, four trapdoors here. Then our next row is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then we want to go ahead and do our next row. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then our next row, same thing, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's going to look like that there on both sides, and that's going to basically set up your um, engines and kind of just the base there of our wings. Um, and we'll kind of continue to expand upon those in the future layers as we progress. Uh, but anyways, again, this is what it should look like from the top-down view so far with this layer all complete. One thing I'd like to go ahead and mention also is for my Java players, we'll be going ahead and taking a look at our pistons that we did place in the previous layer. So we have this piston here. We will go ahead and left-click this until we get selected extended false prompt to pop up. We'll then right-click it, and you can see here it gets rid of that wood portion. And we'll do the same thing here for the belly of our aircraft as well. Um, so what it does there is it just kind of gets rid of the wood portion, kind of gives a little bit more of a sloping effect to our um, shaping here for the fuselage. So overall, just kind of a nice technique to use and get our shapes a little bit more accurate. Anyways, again, that's going to be it for layer three, and we'll be moving on up to layer number four. Moving into our next layer, we have layer four. Layer four here is going to be a bit of a, I don't want to say complex layer, but we will be going ahead and doing a lot of stuff on with the wings and getting a large portion of it built up. So uh, just be advised, the wings are usually the diff most difficult part of my tutorials just because they are a very um, a very difficult shape and they have a lot of um, it, a lot of um, kind of complexity to them, I guess you can say. Um, but again, if you're just following along um, and you just kind of pay close attention to what you're placing, then you should be good to go. But let's go ahead and dive into layer four. So the first thing we want to do is we want to place down a black stained glass block here on top of this glass pane. We're also going to place down a polished black stone button on the front of that glass block. We're going to go ahead and place down an additional three more blocks back, so you have a total of four here. And then again, since I'm closing off the um, inside here, I'm just going to place down black concrete after those glass paint or glass full blocks. I'm going to go ahead and switch to our gray concrete, and we're going to go do a row all the way down the center here. And this here is going to go back a total of 28 blocks. So it's going to end right before that we have this trap door here. Then on that center block, we're going to place down a black stained glass block, and then we're going to go and continue for a gray concrete back down the center here for a total of six blocks. We'll then place down two upside down pistons. Again, an alternative here to the pistons will be a full block of gray concrete and then a polished black stone top slab. Then after those two blocks there, we're going to place down two more top slabs that go toward the rear there like so. Now going ahead and working on our tail a little bit, we're going to place down two polished black stone top slabs. Uh, one's going to come off the side of the piston or the uh, yeah, the piston and then one off the side of this block here and we then want to go ahead and place down two stairs forward like so we'll then take our gray concrete we're going to go one two three forward and then we're going to place down an upside down stair right here like so after that we're going to take our dark oak trap doors we want to go ahead and go off the first gray concrete block with a total of four trap doors you know one two three four then after we have that done uh we want to go ahead and then do a row of eight so one two three four five six seven eight and we're going to go ahead and repeat that row of eight a total of three more times. So we have one. Then we have two. And then lastly, we have our uh, third row, and that gets us four rows in total. Going ahead and continuing forward, we're going to place down an additional one, two, three, four, five gray concrete blocks. Then we're going to place down one, two, three black concrete. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23 gray concrete blocks forward. We're going to go ahead and place down a black stained glass block. Now right here is where we do have our first difference. Now basically at this point both sides are completely symmetrical. The difference we're going to have here though is going to be in the front here. On what will be the left side of the plane, so this side here we're going to go ahead and place down a black stained glass pane. On the other side, we're going to be going ahead and grabbing ourselves a grindstone, and we want to go ahead and place down a grindstone. That's going to come off this block like that, followed by an end rod coming off the grindstone, and then a chain like that for that front gunner position. And again, that's going to be on the right side and the right side only. Then after that, on both sides, we'll just go ahead and place down an air fence gate on top of here and open that toward the center. So again, uh, basically the only difference there being the placement of the glass pane versus the grindstone. 
then a polished blackstone button on the side here of the block, and we'll go ahead and continue on working our way back. We're going to place down two uh, gray stained glass panes, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten polished blackstone walls, one, two, three, four gray concrete, then one, two polished diorite, two polished diorite stairs, and then one, two, three uh, polished blackstone. We walls. We will go ahead and also grab ourselves a nether brick wall. And we're gonna place down another brick wall here, and then one, two black stained glass panes, and then again for gray stained glass panes, one and two back. After we have that all done, that is gonna basically complete that, and we'll go ahead and go back up to the front here of the wings or the lean edge, and we'll go ahead and start working on those. So for this section here, we're gonna place down two upside down stairs here, going back, and we're just gonna go ahead and go back one, two, three gray concrete, one, two, three, then one, two polished diorite. We're going to go and take our pistons. We're going to place down two pistons here again for Java players. If you're not on Java, you can probably use um, some polished diorite stairs or probably some polished diorite full blocks will also be a good alternative. Uh, we're going to go and then place down a set of one and two of polished diorite slabs like so. And then we'll go ahead and just grab our daylight detectors. We're going to place down two daylight detectors and turn those to night mode. Now we're going to go ahead and then take our pistons and we're going to go ahead and extend those out a total of four more. So you have a total of six. So one, two, three, four. Like that. And then we're going to take our slabs. We're going to go ahead and basically follow suit. One, two, three, four. And then this last slab here, we're going to go ahead and go one back. And then the space in between here, we're going to place down daylight detectors. And again, we're going to turn these to night mode. After that, uh, we're going to go ahead and then take our polished diorite. And we're going to go ahead and go one, two, three, four along the side here. And we then want to go ahead and go an additional three more. So one, two, three full blocks to the side. We'll take our pistons, we're going to place down one, two, and then we're going to place down one, two, and then two slabs, one, two, like that. We'll then place down another polished direct full block here, and then another piston that's going to go in this space, like so. After we have that all done, we're going to go and take our gray concrete, and we're just going to build a row of one, two, three. One, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and um, we're going to go ahead and stop that at this point here. So we're going to go ahead and build right on top of the fence gate, and right there, we're going to go ahead and stop. We're going to go ahead and switch back to our stairs, and we're going to go ahead and place down a total of three stairs to the side here. So we have one, two, three. And then taking our gray concrete, we're just going to go and fill in the space between the first stairs and our polished diorite, just to go and fill that in with gray concrete, fill that all in. Now at this point, we're going to go then take our gray concrete, and we're going to go and place down a row going back from the stair, one, two, three, four, five, and then a polished blackstone top slab. So I'll go ahead and grab a slab here real quick, and we're going to place down our top slab like that. Then we, our next row here is going to be a top slab up front, then one, two, three, four, uh, gray concrete, or actually, sorry, it's going to be one less like that, and then we're going to place down three, like so. We then want to place down a row of polished blackstone that's going to go basically all the way along the side here, so we're going to go ahead and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that across. Uh, we then want to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood trap door. Um, it's going to go right here in the front, and then we want to go ahead and then take our polished blackstone, we're going to go back four, so we have one, two, three, four, and then two more trapdoors after that. Um, once that's all finished there, or actually sorry, it's going to be, yeah, it's actually sorry, it's going to be one more top slab, so it's going to be a uh, dark oak with tra uh, trapdoor on both sides. So I got a little ahead of myself there. Uh, we're going to place down another trapdoor here, and then another one, two, three, four polished blackstone slabs, and then two dark oak with trapdoors. So that, there we go, that's the right um, length there for that, and that's looking good. Then our uh, next row is going to be a, another dark oak trap door here, and then we're going to go ahead and place down one, two, three back, and then one, two uh, trap doors. Now after that, uh, we're going to go ahead and place down our next row, which is going to be a row of one, two, three, four, five, six dark oak trap doors. Then we're going to go ahead and start from the back here, and we're going to go ahead and go one, two, three, four forward, and then we just want to go ahead and go one, two, three. And um, also, since we're at it, we'll, we'll place down a trapdoor here too. I think that that's one that should have been included that for some reason wasn't. So it's gonna look like that there for our wing. And after that, we pretty much have just our engine here to solely focus on. So for our engine here, we're just gonna take our polished diorite. We're gonna place down a row of three across the space here, followed by a polished blackstone wall here in the corners. 
After that's done, we're going to then take our gray, or sorry, rather our black concrete, and we're going to place down a row of three across this middle space. Then we're going to place down one and two black concrete blocks going forward. We'll grab ourselves some black stained glass panes. We're going to place on both sides here of that first block, and then dark ochre trapdoors on both sides here of that second block. Then on the very tip here, we're going to be going ahead and using some red glazed terracotta for the very tip of the kind of engine here. Um, or the props and we're going to place down with our skeleton skull on it. So it's going to look basically something like that there. After that is all done, uh, we want to go and then take our iron trap doors. And we're going to go ahead and run iron trap doors on the side here of these two blocks. Just a little side note here is that if you are on... Uh, not on Java and you do not have access to a debug stick which using the debug stick we can go ahead and left click till it gets selected open um, and should say false we can then right click it and actually set them to lay flat against the sides there of the engine kind of create our nacelle um, housing there for the engine now if you um, again are on a different version and don't have access to a debug stick and cannot do that with the trap doors you can very well use just birchwood trap doors as an alternative as those will work also um, but anyways that right there is pretty much it for for that and we'll go ahead and also take our debug stick and again for Java players we're just going to go ahead and right click our pistons here and we'll be doing that on both sides and also don't forget to go ahead and go to our engines we're going to do the same thing there on the bottom of our engines and also these three uh, pistons right there on the bottom of the aircraft. Um, anyways though that right there is going to include everything we have there for layer number four again I'll give you guys a top down aerial view and this is what it should look like from the top down view. With that all complete, that's going to wrap up this layer, and we'll be going ahead and moving on to our next layer, layer number five. All right, guys, moving into our next layer here, we do have layer number five. Before we go and jump into layer five, I do want to go ahead and mention, though, that real quick is that we do want to go ahead and add a trap door onto this corner space right here, and that right there is pretty much it. Um, so it's a simple little addition there just to help uh, keep that color a little bit more consistent on the bottom wings. Realize there was a slab that was exposed when we go and put our polished die right. Anyways though, let's go ahead and get started here with this layer. We're going to go ahead and start with the front, and we're going to place down an eight black stained glass paint on top of this black stained glass block. We're going to go ahead and build back from it with a row of three of blocks of black stained glass, two black concrete, and then we're going to go ahead and again take our polished die right, run it all the way down the center here of the fuselage for a total of 37 blocks and ending on top of the second to last polished black stone top slab. We then want to place down a deep slate brick wall and then two end rods going back like that for our rear cannon. After that, going to the sides here of that um, wall, we're going to place down a white stained glass pane, two direct walls forward, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen of our polished direct. Then a white concrete block, black concrete, and then white concrete. And then again, we'll take our polished die rate, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, polished die rate forward, then a block, black stained glass block, another uh, polished die rate full block, and we're going to go ahead and then place down 1 and 2, black stained glass blocks, black stained glass pane, and a polished black stone bun on the side here of this first block here. We're going to go and then go back from that uh, on the second block of a black stained glass pane, then a white stained glass pane, a black stained glass pane, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine white stained glass panes, two uh, polished diorite stairs, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine white stained glass panes, a black stained glass pane, a white stained glass pane, and then two more white stained glass panes after that. Once we have uh, that all finished, we're going to go ahead and then work on our horizontal stabilizers and finish these off. These are pretty simple to do, and all we're going to do is kind of just build off of the trap doors we placed earlier. So we're just going to place down a row of four of daylight detectors here. Make sure we turn those to night mode. Then a row of four of polished um, direct slabs, and then a row of four of daylight detectors again turned to that night mode. We're going to go ahead and place down a row of eight of slabs going across here. And then a row, another row of eight, like this, and we'll go ahead and turn these all to their night mode like that. After that, we're going to then take our iron trap doors and place down a row of eight here across as well. After we have that all finished there, we're going to go ahead and then place down a... Uh, we're going to actually grab some barrier blocks. So if you um, are on Java, you can type in the command slash give app p minecraft colon barrier. And by... Basically, entering this command here will give you a barrier block. And what this is, is basically an invisible block that allows us to actually attach items to. And we're going to use it here for some of our cabling here that runs between our fuselage and our tail. 
Um, I believe that other versions do have something called a structure block, and I've also heard that they do have barrier blocks, so you may have to look, depending on your version, and just kind of see what um, what uh, version of the block that you have, that basically you just want an invisible block that you can place down uh, some buttons on. Anyways, though, for our blocks, we're going to go ahead and go off this glass pane here at an angle, and we're just going to go and continue these uh, barrier blocks at an angle, going all the way down here, the side of the aircraft, like that, and it should connect up to this um, this uh, daylight detector here. What we're going to do next is we're going to take our stone buttons, and we're just going to go ahead and place them down on the sides here of those blocks. So just like that on the inside there, and that's going to form your cabling, and you'll do the same thing for both sides. So really easy, straightforward stuff. Uh, next, we're going to go ahead and work into our, or move into our wings, and our wings here are a very complex wing. I would say probably one of the more complex wing, wings I've done here recently, um, but let's go ahead and dive into it. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to place down two white carpets here, and after we have that done, we're going to go ahead and place down an iron trap door, and we're going to go ahead and follow this up with a row of three of pistons. Again, an alternative here to the pistons would probably be some polished diorite slabs um, would probably work here in this case, but we're going to place down our three pistons across. After that, we want to go ahead and then place down a row of two of iron trap doors. So two iron trap doors, then a row of three of daylight detectors, turn those to night mode, and then we're going to place down a row of five. One, two, three, four, five uh, slabs going all the way to the side there. After that's all done, we want to go ahead and then place down one, two, three daylight detectors, a polished diorite slab, a piston, a near polished diorite slab like so, and we're going to go ahead and then place down two more, one, two daylight detectors, like that to the side, then we're going to place down four slabs, one, two, three, four, then we're going to place down four pistons, one, two, three, four as well. Our uh, next uh, section is going to be a row of one, two, three, four daylight detectors, which again will turn to that uh, night mode there. Then a polished direct slab, and then we're going to go ahead and build uh, one, two, three, four, five daylight detectors. Again, turn these all to that night mode, and then three slabs, one, two, three, and then three pistons. So like that. After we have that done, we want to go ahead and then uh, do our next row here, which is going to be uh, using our iron trap doors. We're going to go one, two, three, four. Then a daylight detector, turn that to night mode. And we're going to go ahead and then place down additional four iron trap doors. One, two, three, four. We then want to go ahead and place down three, one, two, three daylight detectors, turn those to night mode like that. And then two more slabs and two, sorry, three more pistons like that up to the side. Then after we have that done, we want to go ahead and then go to this iron trap door here. We're going to place down one iron trap door back and then we're going to go, and go two over. One, two. After that, we want to take our uh, daylight detectors. We're going to place down one, two, turn those to night mode, and then two direct slabs and two pistons. One, two. And actually, sorry, my bad. It's going to be three pistons. Now after that, uh, we'll take our iron trap doors again, and we're going to go ahead and go back here, one, two, and we'll go back actually three to the side, then two daylight detectors, again turn those to night mode, and we'll take our polished iron slabs and just place down a row four all the way across there to the outside. Now for this uh, little row right here, we're going to place down two white carpet, then we're going to place down two iron trap doors, and then one daylight detector, again we'll turn that to that night mode. So that's going to kind of cover the... Uh, pretty much the white portion here of the wing. Um, also, we do want to go ahead and kind of expand on our on this section here. Uh, we will place down a polished area block here, then a piston to both sides, um, as well as two polished area stairs forward from the sides here. And then in the center, we're going to place down a black concrete block here, uh, which will be followed with a polished black stone slab. So right here and then a trap door going forward like that. And uh, that's going to basically form um, those engines or the nacelles there for the engines. And uh, with that, pretty much we're just going to go ahead and continue on now to our outer wings. All right, guys, so going ahead and continue on. We want to go ahead and then place down two gray concrete blocks here. We're going to go ahead and then place down a uh, polished blackstone upside down stair like this. And then we're going to place down a second one after that. 
We're going to place down two great concrete blocks back here, and then one, two, three in this space, followed by a top slab like that. After that, we're going to place down a narrow top slab here, two green concrete, and two more top slabs back. We then want to go ahead and place down one, two, three, four, five top slabs, then a dark oak wood trap door, and then four top slabs back. We're going to go ahead and place down another dark oak wood trap door here in the front, and three top slabs, then an air trap door, and another three top slabs. We then want to place down four trap doors, then a second row of four, and then a third row, and a fourth row. And then one trap door that's going to come off this one like that. So it's going to look something like that there. And I'm just going to go and double check to make sure my rows are correct. Um, it is kind of hard sometimes to gauge how many trap doors are actually here with the squares and all that. Um, but they all kind of all bundled together, but it is going to be four rows of four going across this space here, making this kind of squared off section. And then that one trap door that sticks off like that. And looking at it from above here, this is what we should have for this layer. We can also go ahead and now take our debug stick and we will go ahead and go to these pistons. And we'll just go ahead and right click them to go ahead and get rid of that wood portion. Um, and basically create the uh, nice look there for our wings. Um, so some really nice shaping going on for that. And then on the back here, we also have these two trap doors. We'll also go ahead and touch up as well. And I think that's about it for everything that we need to use the debug stick for. Um, but yeah, that right there is going to include this layer. Again, we'll take an overview of what it looks like from the top down view. So again, we should have something that looks like this here so far with uh, layer five complete. With that though, we will be going ahead and moving on to our next layer, layer six, and we'll be done with the wings after that and should be smooth sailing from there on out. So with that, let's move on to layer six. Moving into our next layer here, we have layer number six. For layer six to go ahead and get started with here, we're gonna place down a dark oak wood trap door that's gonna sit on top of this black stained glass block here. We're gonna go then go back from that with a daylight detector, return that to night mode, and then two polished black or two polished diorite slabs. We then want to place down two black stained glass uh, blocks, and then we're gonna take our polished diorite. We're gonna go back a total of four slabs, then a polished diorite stair, polished diorite full block, polished diorite stair. After that, we're gonna go and then again take our slabs. We're gonna go ahead and go back a row of six, then a diorite wall, a row of three of slabs, and then we're gonna place down a row of three of our black stained glass. We'll continue on with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven diorite slabs. And then we'll switch back to our gray concrete for a total of four gray concrete, a polished black stone stair. Um, again, a kind of, I would probably put a nether brick stair. So I would have the stair kind of facing that way like so. Um, if you're on Java, we're gonna go ahead and place down a piston. After that, we're gonna go ahead and place down two of our two, sorry, black stained glass blocks, a nether brick slab, and then a wither skeleton skull on top of this first end rod here on the back. Going to the sides, we're gonna place down a wither skeleton skull at a slight angle like this on both sides of that nether brick slab as well as two black stained glass panes back from that. On the side of the piston or the stair here, we're gonna place down another wooden skeleton skull, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 uh, daylight detectors forward, which will all turn to that night mode. After that, uh, we wanna go ahead and then place down a black stained glass pane to off the side of this first black uh, block here. Black stained glass full block in there, black stained glass pane. Coming off this block facing forward, or rear, we're gonna go ahead and place down a end rod, and then a chain. And then on the side here of the glass pane, we're going to go and place down a sign like that. Going forward, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine uh, day of light detectors. Again, all turn to that light gray color. Then we want to go ahead and place down a polished diorite stair on the side of this block, a white or just a normal end rod back, and then a chain coming off that end rod. We're going to go ahead and place down one, two, three, four, five. Uh, daylight detectors forward. Now right here we do have a difference. On the right side here we will place down two black stained glass blocks. On the left side it's just going to be two more daylight detectors. So just make sure you keep that in mind uh, going forward the difference between the two sides. We're going to go and then take our daylight detectors again, continue forward one and two, turn those to the night mode, and then a dark oak wood trap door here. On the left side of the, or, yeah, the left side of the aircraft here, on top of this glass pane we will also place down a zombie head and that's only going to be on the left side there and not on the right. So just make sure you keep that in uh, mind. But that right there is going to complete our kind of fuselage and we'll go ahead and continue working our way out to the wings. Uh, for our wings here, very simple. We're just gonna place down two iron trap doors over our nacelle there to go ahead and complete our engines. And while we're at it, we can go ahead and just kind of do our quick engine design for our props and just kind of show you guys exactly what you need to do for that. 
Um, it's pretty simple since there's only two engines and we don't really have, we don't have to worry about too much going on here. But basically it's just going to be an inner brick stair like this and we're just going to kind of build a staircase up. And we're going to go and go with a total of three stairs. Then the other way we're going to do the same thing. So just our kind of staircase going up. And then going downwards we're going to go ahead and basically do our staircase going down. So it's going to be kind of an upside down staircase going down like so. And obviously the same thing over here on this side. So just like this, and one more stair, like so. And that's really all you need to do for the props. It's super easy to do. You'll take the same design, transfer it over to the other side, and you'll have your props complete. Um, with that though, we will be going ahead and now moving out to our outer wings to get those all finished off. All right guys, so going ahead and moving into our outer wings. We're gonna go and start off by going ahead and going to this section here. We're gonna place down one and two white carpet, then one, two, three, four iron trap doors, and then one, two, three, four daylight detectors, which will turn to that night mode. Then just two diorite slabs to the side there. Next row is going to be uh, one, two, three white carpet, and then we're going to place down one, two iron trap doors, dark oak wood trap door, iron trap door, and then one, two, three daylight detectors, which will turn to our night mode. Then we just want to place down one, two, three polished diorite slabs over. Next row here is going to be our white carpet again. It's going to be one, two, just like that. And make sure not to do what I did um, if you are on Java and have the pistons and um, make sure you don't activate them like I just did. Um, anyways though, we're going to go ahead and then take our white carpet and continue on, or actually our iron trap doors, and we're going to place down uh, one iron trap door here, and then one, two, three dark oak with trap doors, and then an iron trap door again, followed by one, two, three daylight detectors, which will turn to night mode like that, and then a diorite slab. We'll then go ahead and place down a skeleton skull here on top of that one, so it's going to look like that there. And then for this back section here, we're going to place down two daylight detectors. We're going to turn them to night mode. Then we're going to go ahead and place down four iron trap doors, dark oak with trap door, and then another iron trap door. Then two more white carpets and four more to finish off our wing there. So it's going to look something that looks just like this here from up above. Now at this point in time, I would recommend going ahead and taking that same design for the wing and copying it over to the air side. Um, on the other side, we do have one difference, and that's going to be on the left side of the wing. So the left wing only. It's going to be on this leading edge here, this first... Um, this first slab, we're just going to go ahead and place down three end rods going forward from it. And that's going to basically finish it off. Um, pretty simple stuff. Um, it's basically this is what it should look like. Once uh, completed there, your wings are pretty much done. And for the most part, the aircraft's coming together. Uh, we do have our kind of final sections or final layers of the build, which are going to be kind of getting into the tail end section and kind of finishing off our like little remote control guns and stuff like that. So uh, with that, we'll probably just be going ahead and diving into our final layers of our build here and finishing off... Um, the HE-177. Alright guys, moving into our final layers here, we have layers 7 through 13. To go ahead and get started with here, we're going to be going ahead and going to this kind of 2 by uh, 2 um, kind of square here of black stained glass, and we're just going to go ahead and place down some wither skeleton skulls here in the corners, uh, basically kind of around an angle like that to kind of create a little bit more of a domed effect, uh, but that's going to be it for that little glass portion there. We're going to go ahead and then place down an iron trap door on top of this middle block here, and then we're going to go ahead and go to this wall, we're going to place down two uh, birchwood fence post up for the time being. We'll then place down a barrier block going forward from this um, fence post and then we're going to go ahead and have one going down at an angle. We'll place down stone buns on the left side of the barrier blocks and we're going to do the left side only. Then after we have that done we have our uh, kind of turret here. We're going to place down a narrow brick slab in the center and then we're just going to go ahead and place down wither skeleton skulls here on the black stained glass around it like so to go ahead and create that um, domed turret there. Next, moving on to our vertical stabilizer, we're going to go ahead and place down a polished black stone wall here, and then we're going to go ahead and place down one, two, three, four, and five uh, pol or gray concrete back, followed by a polished black stone upside down stair here. We're going to go ahead and then place down a light gray stainless pane here, and then we're going to go ahead and go back one and two of our gray concrete. We will want to go ahead and grab ourselves a birch wood button as well as we will want to go ahead and get some black concrete. Now what we're going to do is we're going to place down a black concrete block here, then a virtual button on both sides of that gray concrete right before it, another gray concrete block going back, again our birchwood button on both sides here, and then we're going to go ahead and place down two more gray concrete blocks back. Uh, we're going to go then place down another gray concrete block here, then a row of four of black concrete, gray concrete again, and another polished black stone wall. We're going to place down a polished black stone wall here, gray concrete, then a virtual button on both ends, 
a narrow black concrete block, narrow gray concrete, again a birch wood button on both ends, and then a gray concrete block again, polished black stone wall. After that, we're gonna go ahead and place down a light gray, or sorry, just a gray stained glass pane here, a gray concrete, or actually rather just a row of four of gray concrete back, and then a gray stained glass pane. On top here, we're just gonna place down one, two, three, four gray concrete, and then taking our polished black stone slabs, we wanna go ahead and just very simply place down one and two on the top there, like so for our tail. Uh, we'll also go ahead and grab our debug stick. So let me go ahead and type in the command here, slash give um, at p minecraft colon debug underscore stick. And we can also go ahead and right click this piston here and go ahead and finish it off there. So we have our tail pretty much created. Now at this point, so we pretty much just have to do our rigging from our tail down to our post up here. To do this, we're gonna place down two barrier blocks going off this fence post back, and we're gonna take our stone buttons and we're just gonna place them on the top here of those two stone blocks. We're gonna go or on top of the two barrier blocks. We're gonna go ahead and go off the stone buttons, one, two, three, four barrier blocks. We're gonna place down stone buttons on the left side here, the first two, and then stone buttons on top of the second two. We're gonna go ahead and then go up with a row of three, one, two, three. Coming off that stone button there, we're gonna place down uh, stone buttons on the side of the first two, then on top of the next two. So it's gonna look like that. Uh, we're gonna go then place down a row of four. So we have one, two, three, four. And we're gonna go and then again, place down two on the side, then the two on top. And then we're gonna go and then place down our two barrier blocks like that, connecting us up to the vert. And we're just gonna place down two buttons on the left side there of those barrier blocks. So if we just go ahead and give a sec here, our barrier blocks will kind of disappear from view. And that right there is what we should have there for our cabling that's gonna run from there all the way up to the tail of the aircraft. Um, overall, really nice design for it. I think it came out pretty nice and works really good. Um, you know, speaking for the aircraft overall. Um, but that is it for layers seven through 13. And with that, that is gonna wrap up my tutorial here for the HE177 Grief. Hope you guys do enjoy this tutorial and are able to put it to good use. If you do not use this build, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This has been thank you for my side of the build, to my channel or this video, if this does bring social media sites. And as long as you guys give me proper credit for it, your free for a project you guys are working on. Again, a big special thanks to Patreon supporter, Yeg Tiger for making this tutorial possible. And as always, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link is always in my video description. With that though, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been your 4 and I'll see you guys next time.